Release, release, release. Welcome to our satellite integration facility. It's basically where satellites will arrive in the lorries just on the other side of this wall here. They'll go into an airlock system where they'll be cleaned and ready to come into this facility, which is our clean room, which has this incredible crane, which will have the fairing of the rocket hoisted vertically where satellites can come and be integrated in the bottom of it. It will then be switched to go horizontal out through these doors here into another airlock where we'll go and meet the rest of the rocket outside. We'll be attached to Cosmic Girl, ready to go to space. Well, we're down in Cornwall, like, uh, like the spaceport, and we have an antenna here, which is going to be tracking the launch, which will go at the end of the runway, and that will point towards Launcher 1, and so we can check all of the telemetry, the signals that tell us that the rocket is OK, and all of the spacecraft on, on board are OK. So when all of those checks have been completed, then the launch can take place. contains all of the equipment needed to control the antenna outside, to pick up that telemetry from the rockets uh, and to send it back to the mission control centre. At Open Cosmos, we really endeavor to make space simple. So it means in terms of cost, but also in terms of time. So we have long challenged ourselves to see how fast we can uh, deliver satellite missions. And the opportunity with this launch, which is literally four hours away from here, is unique. It means we get to build the satellite here and we launch it just after. We've always been strong on space technology in the UK, but now we are in a unique position globally. This is the beginning of us having a concept, designing it, building it and launching it from the UK. So the first launch from the UK is already a launch that demonstrates the end-to-end -end supply chain and I think that's really exciting. The space sector is worth over £6.5 billion pounds annually to the UK with 47,000 people employed there. So whether you're actually bringing economic value in, whether you're delivering missions and capabilities with the skills that you've got from the workforce or you're inspiring the next generation, it's a really, really important part for us to make sure that we grab that, squeeze it and get as much out of it as we possibly can. I'm from Cornwall myself and there are lots of Cornish people here. I think my first poignant moment here was when I was in charge of the controls when we were operating with the Mars Express. Just being able to effectively control a spacecraft uh, from this room. That was the first time I realised, wow, we're sending signals into space and getting them back, sending them onto ESA. That's pretty cool. It's nice that Cornish people have industries, thriving industries in scientific sectors where we can pursue careers. It makes me feel lucky to be from here, lucky to live here and lucky to work here. Seeing the millions we've invested in first launch manifest itself 
into Cosmic Girl sitting on the apron and Rocket in the integration facility is an immensely proud moment for myself and the agency and all of those who've been involved in this programme. For a long time this project was very ethereal. We had eight years of planning and preparation and paperwork to get to this point and now just having people up on the side, fi finishing up those bits of work, it really feels real and exciting now. For me, it feels like the most exciting time in the last 50 years of space endeavour, and we're right at the heart of that here in the UK.